as I post these videos. I've been saying I teach in the classroom, I teach literature and folklore, and occasionally I've mentioned that I'm a cultural consultant, um, helping Africans and Americans navigate cultural differences. So today I would like to talk a little bit about that, the cultural consultant part. Yeah, it's an activity I've been doing for about three decades now. Yeah, I've been here at St. Olaf College uh, 33 years now, and uh, almost all this time I've been uh, working as a cultural consultant, helping Africans and Americans understand one another. Uh, it's been a pleasure, and uh, it has taken me to different places. It has uh, put me in touch with different uh, audiences. Uh, it's just been very exciting. And uh, all the time I'm thinking about invitations that I get and preparing my presentations. And um, um, I have been uh, able to write some books uh, two books actually. Um, I'll show these books. Um, they're right here. Uh, this is one of them. Uh, the first one, Africans and Americans Embracing Cultural Differences. I published this in 2005. And then uh, uh, in 2021, I published a sequel chickens in the bus, more thoughts on cultural differences. I work with Africans, I work with Americans. Um, I talk about Africans, I talk about Americans. I'm an African, I fully understand the African culture. I do research on African folklore, I teach African literature. I can definitely claim to be knowledgeable uh, from my experience, from interactions with fellow Africans, from reading, from research. And then um, I've lived with Americans for really very many years, studying their ways. First, I was a graduate student in uh, Madison, University of Wisconsin in Madison for almost six years, 1980 to 86. Um, and then I've been teaching here in Minnesota at this college, St. Olaf College, from um, 1991. That's 33 years. And if you add those uh, six years in Madison, that's a lot of years operating, you know, in the American uh, context, uh, engaging with Americans so many years. So I have developed a kind of uh, confidence in my ability to be the bridge between Africans and Americans uh, in terms of the cultural side of things. Uh, as soon as I started teaching at St. Olaf College, I found myself um, in the role of um, an advisor on study abroad programs, programs run by various American colleges and universities that take students to Africa. So I would help provide cultural orientation to these students. Um, just letting them know, you know, the kinds of experiences they were going to have in Africa, you know, helping them to understand African ways, African, you know, values, African ways of uh, doing things. And the difference between those ways and their own American ways. So that was really how I started. And then um, um, congregations of the Lutheran Church the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America, ELCA, 
uh, started um, inviting me to talk to groups, you know, church groups, you know, members of congregations who are traveling to Africa. Uh, the, the churches here in the Midwest, Minnesota especially, and nearby states like Nebraska, Illinois, uh, they have um, uh, partnerships with African congregations. And so groups of these Lutherans travel to meet, you know, you know, their fellow Lutherans in places like uh, Malawi, uh, Tanzania, Cameroon, uh, and so on and so on. So I would talk with them and uh, again, just help them understand the culture that they are going to encounter over there in Africa. Out of all this, I published a book, this book here, and it became uh, very popular with the Americans who go to Africa. Africans and Americans embracing cultural differences. It got adopted by many of these congregations. It got reviewed in uh, church bulletins and uh, I got a lot of encouragement from that. And then the universities, colleges, you know, also adopted the book. Um, I've received invitations from all kinds of uh, uh, audiences, institutions. In fact, the American Embassy in Tanzania was one of the first institutions to uh, invite me to offer orientation. Um, in this case, the American Embassy uh, requested that I help the embassy to talk to Tanzanians about Americans. And so uh, one year when I was in Tanzania, uh, the embassy facilitated a trip for me. I went to Zanzibar, gave a talk at the State University of Zanzibar. Um, and then um, I gave another talk the following day in Pemba, a nearby Ireland. Very well attended talks. Yes. And uh, <clears throat> here in the USA, um, I have um, gone to different churches, um, the Lutheran churches, ELCA churches. Here in Minnesota, um, in Wisconsin, Northwest Wisconsin, um, and other places. Um, among the colleges <clears throat> that have invited me, um, you have um, Gustavus Adolphus College here in Minnesota. There is a program they have been running there. Um, students in the field of social work and nursing, uh, social work and nursing. Uh, they have a study abroad program uh, taking students to Tanzania. And every time they went, they first called me to help provide cultural orientation. And uh, the professor recommended this book as required actually for the students. So, They've been using this book for at least 10 years, as far as I remember. And all those years, I would go and talk to the students. And um, I have many photos of those meetings that were held here in Minnesota, not far from where I am, uh, in a town called uh, Lakeview. Yes. Um, it's been um, really very exciting and then eventually I got um, opportunities to talk to non-academic audiences as well. Um, 
representatives from different countries in uh, South and Central America, you, you know, they were having a meeting over there organized by some professors at the uh, University of Columbia. And uh, the meeting was to explore, you know, business or trade between Latin America and Africa. And then the organizer invited me to give a talk about the cultural dimension of that. So I gave a talk about um, the cultural dimension of trade between Africa and uh, uh, Latin America. I had a lot of fun doing that. And um, I was able to tell the people of Latin America it would be easy for them to trade with Africans because there are so many basic similarities in our cultures. In fact, I've said confidently that, uh, you know, it's easier for Africans to trade with people of Latin America and Central America than it is for them to trade with the United States, you know, companies and business people. The cultural differences between Africa and uh, America in the sense of the USA are very uh, deep. Uh, but um, yeah, that's one thing. Um, recently, I guess it was a year ago, a Russian company that has begun doing business in Tanzania uh, asked me to provide cultural orientation and I, I ran a seminar for them uh, by Zoom. I was here in my office uh, at Central of College and they were in uh, Dar es Salaam in Tanzania, uh, Dubai and I guess uh, some other places. Um, I was telling them about the cultural realities of doing business in Tanzania and it's a topic that I've come to like very much. I have given talks, you know, to other audiences about this. Um, in fact, before I uh, did the talk for Latin America, I had uh, been invited to give a talk at uh, a conference uh, uh, organized by uh, Toyin Omesiri, um, who is based in Chicago, a Nigerian based in Chicago. Um, the Trade with Africa Summit several years ago. I gave a talk about the cultural dimension of trade between Africa and the USA. That's how I got, uh, you know, uh, That's how I got started on this journey of talking with people in the business field, people who are doing trade. In fact, in my latest book, Chickens in the Bus, there's a whole chapter about just this topic. Um, I think, um, yeah, it's called um, uh, Culture and Business between Africans and Americans, culture and business. Um, and I'm very keen nowadays to observe, you know, relationships between, you know, African business owners and uh, uh, Americans. Uh, I follow the work of the American Chamber of Commerce in my country, Tanzania, the things they are doing, meetings they're having with American you know, business people. And um, I'm very alert to the ways in which I could, you know, offer my advice to these people because I think they are not addressing the kinds of things that I'm addressing, which are very, very crucial. And um, in my publications, I do highlight these things. Um, Again, as I say, some companies, you know, uh, have woken up to a realization of uh, 
how important this dimension is. Right here in the USA, I got a chance to speak to uh, RBC Wealth Management. It's a big company. I think it's based in Canada, but it is a big presence in the USA. And uh, Minneapolis is, um, I guess, one of the headquarters here in the USA. RBC Wealth Management. I went there um, at least twice and uh, they were using this book. I, g I gave a talk based on this book. So my work as a cultural consultant is touching all these audiences and uh, I'm very happy with the kinds of things I am learning and happy with the kind of contribution I'm making. I'm also involved um, in, um, you know, um, helping individuals, individuals, you know, who are traveling to Africa. Yes, I get uh, calls, you know, for people, from people who want some kind of orientation. Uh, they are going there as volunteers, they are going, you know, as tourists, or they have relationships with Africans, they're going to visit friends. They call me for some kind of advice or they ask about the book or I tell them about the book and um, I'm happy to be able to do that. Africans who are in the USA who happen to come across my book, they also appreciate it very much. And um, I can see, you know, um, other institutions, you know, uh, responding to my work. Uh, example is uh, these agencies that uh, host refugees here in the USA. Uh, several of them had access to my book and uh, they recommend it. And beneath, uh, below this video, I have uh, a link uh, to an article, you know, about this coming from central Minnesota. So the prospects are very great and I'm excited. I guess when I stop teaching in the classroom, I will be a full-time consultant uh, in my country and perhaps here in the USA. That's my dream. So reach out to me if you are curious, if you are in need of um, the kind of help I give. Uh, we can work out something. I can give a talk, I can run a workshop, um, or you can just um, get a hold of my book and uh, you'll see, you know, the kind of things that I am all about. This is an, the other book. They're all available online from uh, com www.lulu.com Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye.